one of my adventures. Can't be time for me to come back yet. The new one hasn't even started. Ah, Alarmadillion. Not seen your kind since I freed you all from Living Treasures PLC. Professor Fitback Quirky, you are late. Far too late. Am I? You think years of borrowing this old time taxi, will I say borrowing, lending, stealing, returning soon-ish. You'd know where I was. Well, you know where I am, but I don't. What is this place? The Armadillion homeworld? Very nice. Too nice. We have advanced ourselves since your last encounter. See, we have scanners to detect ripples in time. All program units to board you here, and... A coffee-o-matic. Not seen these for years. You know these are banned. If I was an agent of the gods of witchcraft, which I am not, you would be in serious trouble. You get caught with one of these, and... <sighs> death by duck. This coffee-o-matic is unburned and non-sentient. However, you are too late to save a number of planets from its grip. The Earth still worships its pure beings. Humans. They always need saving. Why? Is it a cry for help? What do you want with me? Be one with us. Join minds and make sure the beans are dead. Link minds with a sentient hot beverage? No way. Now, if you're talking tea... The blend that comes from the contents of the coffee matic now in its last moments, has the ability to see beyond the present into the future. We must know. We must know. So, you need my advanced brain to sneak a peek. Spoilers to what's going to happen. Isn't that cheating? We must know. We must know. All right. Popping it on. Okay. I'm seeing a brown void. A coffee bean inferno. Damn fine hot. What are the Armadillions in the vision? Hold on, I'm just getting my eye in. No, it can't be. Can't be what? All the coffee on Earth. Gone. I mean, I've never been a fan, but there'll be riots. But why? I'm looking closer. Seems people got suspicious when the beans came knocking at your door, demanding to be boiled. This is ridiculous. It is as we suspected. The Armadillions have no future. No. There you are. Dressed as kings. Shiny crowns above your smiling tentacles. You, once the slaves, now the masters of Earth. That is good. Right, taking this off. Is this what you have planned? Kidnapping all the coffee and holding humans' desire for hot drinks as hostage? Well, I always thought you were an odd bunch. But that's just random, though actually quite a sublime plan. You have seen it. You must die. You must okay, die. now, you must wait, die. hold on, you must let's die. talk this you through. Must die. I'm you must harmless. Die. Just a bloke who stole a witch's spare time taxi. You use me to see if your plan succeeded. Who's to say it won't fail if we look further? It will not, but you must die. We will crush you with our tentacles. Worst ways to go, and I can't think of any. Ah, yes, but what you're forgetting is... 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 Ah! I'm being beamed away. Oh, well, so long, suckers. Someone has plans better than death for me. I hope. Keep the kettle on. Bye-bye. Now, where am I? Ah, hello. I'm Professor Fitbutt Quirky, and you are living beans. Coffee beans. Sentient big brown beans looking directly at me. I'm your friend. I, I only drink tea. I wouldn't drink the... It rhymes, sort of, so it must be true. Would I lie to you? You can trust me. I'm not a doctor. Doctor Witch featured Elliot Stewart as Professor Fitbutt Quirky and the Armorillion and was written by Elliot Stewart and this Invisible Commission's production.